good morning, good day, God's blessings. God's blessings, good day. Yes, Lord, we enter into his courts with thanksgiving on our hearts, in our hearts, praise on our lips. Good morning, good day, God's blessings. I am going to slide away from the, the phone camera here and go on into prayer mode. Good day to everyone. Mercy's new compassion that does not fail. Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for your high calling in our life. We thank you for the laborers that have gone before us, the men and women of faith, the examples, the writers, the anointed chosen ones, God, as we open up the scriptures, that we our eyes may be illuminated, that our hearts would be ready to hear and discern, just as the instruction here that we can press forward we can look forward that we don't have to fall victim to what's past or even get stuck with where we are but that you have told us there's an upward call there's an upward climb a place in you where we're no longer victimized by the storms around us by the mental mindsets and opinions and thoughts but that as we look to you as we press on as we leave and forget the things of the past yesterday what's happened yesterday what just happened five minutes ago teach us how to live in the now Lord to walk in step with you you said that those who live in the spirit also walk in the spirit in sync step by step God I pray right now Father all of us here you said we could be writers for you, that we could be readers of, of your word, of your letter, of life, God, that we can interpret, we can be interpreters of spiritual faith truths, that we can be intercessors, that pray for all the saints making supplication around this world, being one with you as we pray for people we've never met and causes we know nothing about just lining ourselves by faith calling it done as as jesus told his disciples as it is in heaven so be it here in the earth give us this day daily bread the needs of our natural bodies and the needs of our spirit soul mind and will emotion we pray right now for emotional wellness those hurts, those untamed places, those places that don't understand, the places that want to be independent, the places that go back into the past and, and hear the, the dead words that should have never been spoken, that have no life to them. We agree with you today, God, that here in the now, the upward call is for us to carry on as good soldiers, for us to continue forward in the mandate of ambassadors as sons and daughters as children in the kingdom you said the kingdom is within us that we're citizens of heaven here now that our citizenship is not in earth god help us to set our mind on things above yes heavenly minded and earthly good God, you've made us that way. You've equipped us. You said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ. Yes, God. He was raised up. He could preach and he could also build. He could, he could cook up fish and he could also put the kingdom at hand into the hearts of the listeners. 
that show us there's a wealth of riches and treasures in our relationship with you, God. Make us one with your word. Dispatch your angels around us, legions of angels, armies, hosts of heaven. Come and encamp around us, God. No fear. Bring in people, friendships, laborers, family that are going to be loyal, dedicated, sold out, that are not going to fall victim to the flesh, to the demonic plans and agendas, to the lies, God, to even trying to force us into jealousies or envies or competition or any of that stuff God we want to be settled so settled in you that we remember as you remembered Christ that in flesh dwells nothing good that in our brothers and sisters they're subject just as we are to ill willed motived for uncircumcised emotions yes God I pray the desires of our heart come forth, that you renew in us a clean, upright spirit, that our affections and attention would be sold out for you. Single-hearted, single focus, single vision, God, that when the lies and the enemy's tactics and schemes of, of man try to come in through those even closest to us, that that armor would be so in place. There would be no scarring, no wounding, no damaging, even the breastplate where the heart is covered, God. Mature us in you. <coughs> Give us this day. Make us one with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. God, I pray you arrest the flesh you teach us how to subdue places within our own understanding and our ideas and agendas and that don't align with, with your plan and your will. Yeah, make us one with you in this earth, God. Thank you, Jesus. Right now we lift up the body of Christ. We lift up the church, the bride. Whether it's in the four walls or in, in tunnels trying to meet in fear of persecution, we lift up our brothers and sisters, our leaders. Your cause, you, God, we lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, you said every knee and every tongue, name above all names. You who ascended far above the heavens, our King, our Prince, our Lord, mighty God, great I am. From beginning to end, Alpha, Omega, Perfector, from Genesis to Revelation, everything in between, north, south, east, and west, we proclaim you as Lord. This day we decide. You said decide. I set before you now choose. We decide one for another. Life and life abundant. We want your life your blood covenant, your message of the cross, your sonship. We want relationship with you. We want to be joint heirs and heirs, <coughs> possessing the kingdom, conquering, overcoming, mighty to save, captain of our soul, commander in chief. Hallelujah. Anchor us in, God. Set our sails towards the direction of purpose in you, to get into the place and the places you've called us. Oh, that we wouldn't shrink back, fall back, be persuaded back, be deceived back. No deception, no plague, no evil coming near our dwelling place. We pray provision into every place of lack supernatural abundance increase God even into the government of our nations that there would be suddenlies God that there would be return checks that there would be refunds given God <coughs> that there would be laborers with your heart that come to us and put things in our hands God that come and say this is for you that sign over titles that give away may no greed ever be named near any of us God the heart of a giver. Lord, I myself want to be a radical giver. Lord, I want to be that generous, prospering gift 
to those that you've placed around me, Lord. Increase our territory. Enlarge our faith, God. Bring in the provisions that we may be a blessing, God, to those around us. That we would hold nothing back just as you held nothing back. You gave all and then you instructed us it's so much better to give. God, show us in the poverty place of the widow, she gave all that she had. She didn't give from abundance. She gave from poverty, without restraint, without hidden agendas, with no secrecy of purpose, with no private little nest egg, with no plan other than loving you and being one with all that you had for her, God. Cause us to understand what this means. Come into the darkened places in us that have not been enlightened. Open up in us any un recognized, unconfessed, unrepented sin, anything, anything, even if it's not sin, any unknown areas where you yourself are not allowed. We haven't given you access. We haven't said, come fill us. We haven't given you your invitation. We haven't opened when you knocked. Any place in us from the crown to the soul's revival to all of our being in hope in you, with your spirit, in your word, no lack, Lord Jesus. Praise you, God. We lift up the nations of this world. We lift up the creation from the smallest creature to the biggest in the woods, in the homes, in the backyards, from all of your creation, all the animals. We say yes to your purposes. That laborers would raise up in this earth, bringing justice with your vindication, with your judgment, with your accurate spiritual assessing motives, God, into any area that needs a voice from the unborn in the womb to the children, to the seniors, to the animals, to the north, south, east, and west. Raise us up to be voices, yes, that we would speak your word and it wouldn't return void, that we would give, that we would knock on that door, that we would say to that one, that we would stand up in the courtroom, that we would come forth into the church, that we would give honor to you and to whom honor is due. Yes, Lord. To the orphans and widows, you are Father. You are husband, God. We pray your, your supernatural manifestation into all the orphans and orphanages, Lord. Of Father, through the vessels, through the laborers, through the people, through the counselors, through others' orphans. Oh, God, that you would teach the orphans how to father the orphans in a parental place, God, of, of wisdom and insight and revelation and understanding that they would come as and grow up in your ways right there before the adverse thing that happened to them, God. That the widows would find comfort in knowing that there is no greater husband in all this life. God, bring justice to those that are being violated. Yes, God, answers, open doors, tear off rooftops, God. Do what you have to do, Father, to expose, to reveal, to heal, to mend, to deliver, God. We pray instant miracle deliverances, God that feelings and emotions and bondages in the mind and fear and lies and torment and and all oh, shame and guilt and all of the things that are contrary to the fruit of who you are and the exactness of your love that all those things would be arrested suddenly we need some suddenlies god just as you showed up in the fiery furnace and the lion's den, in the place with Stephen, into the island with John, suddenly, God, that your angels would visit, that they would war against the unseen forces, that they would encamp around those fortresses of hatred, of wickedness, of evil, God. 
yes send forth heaven's assignment God into the earth out of the abundance of who you are we're not making anything up we're agreeing with what you've already said and what you've done because your word says that you change not thank you Jesus may the fear of the Lord be the beginning of knowledge just as your word is written line upon line precept upon precept our hearts being single towards you show us this isn't something that we just step into this is a peeling back of the layers of flesh a willful soulful willing surrender a dying to self and agreeing with you that if we don't come clean, God, we can't stand in places of soaring on the wings of eagles, of experiencing third level visitations in heaven, of having dreams that set the whole plan in motion while we're not even stepping into the place yet. Because of who you are, God, increase our ability to hear you, God. Bring us into places without consequence where we will learn fear. Bring us right up to that place, right up to that grill, God. Right up to, to that place of sacrifice, of willful obedience, of, to the place where you come in and intervene and say, Now this is love. Now this is who I am. Well done. Now come with me. Come to what I've prepared for you next. God, help us to not res re resist the seasons of change in our lives, in the lives, in the earth, God, in the world. Come, Spirit. Come, heaven. Angels, as evil starts to manifest, may we see that level where the heavenly war is happening, where angels don't faint, where they don't quit, where they multiply, where they come in and subdue demons and strongholds and conquer camps of Satan, where they overthrow. Yes, God, see that place. He said, our wrestle is not with the flesh. Our wrestle is not with the blood. It's with the principalities right there where heaven and earth and the world system and the kingdom right there at the gates, right there, God. New beginnings, fresh starts. We welcome and invite you, God. Praise your name. Thank you for hearing us today from the unborn cries in the womb to our seniors crossing over and all in between those hungry bellies never again God never again God may everything that has breath find food Lord. oh Jesus look upon us Forgive us, be merciful, God. Be merciful, Jesus. Show us your glory. Raise us up. Be with the prodigals in their bad decisions, God. Remain true to the backslider, God. Visit the one in the wilderness. Lead him out into the desert and speak to him, Jesus. You said not one would be taken from your hand. You told your disciples, and then we as your disciples hold true to the promises. These promises are us, yes and amen. They're for us. You said we'll be blessed going in, blessed going out. When our ways please you, faith is counted as righteousness with mustard seed. When we surrender and say, I will trust you, God, we enter into a place of rest of trust when we make one decision in the heart one strong felt effort to turn away to repent to have a change of heart god then all of heaven opens up and our soul begins to cooperate with what you've already done the finished completed work into this earth god thank you jesus great is your name and greatly to be praised we look for your answers, God. 
in the hospitals, with our, our scientists, in our military, first responders, police force, neighborhood watches, homes, families, marriages, churches, politics, God, politicians, Lord, coming against every bit of greed and deception, God, in the authoritative blood of the Lamb, in the, in the rightful place of inheritance, trusted God in you. Thank you, Jesus, for judges that judge accurately. Thank you, God, for food banks and all these missionary workers all over, God, that feed, that love on, that clothe, that provide, that give medicine, that hold and cry and pray. Thank you, God. May justice prevail in the earth. Even the mockers and scoffers of the cross coming, that just break up that fallow ground, God. Break it up, even on their deathbeds, God, that you yourself will shine your glorious light and blind them like you did with Saul if you have to. Convert them, Lord. Convert us, God. You said if we would be converted, you told Peter, when your faith has been strengthened, you're going to be sifted, Peter, by Satan. But when you've been converted, go and strengthen those that are named among me. Strengthen them, Peter. Precious are your thoughts towards us. Healing is our bread today. Bring healing to our physical bodies, cures to the diseases, remedies, miracles, signs, and wonders that are true and accurate. We come against every false thing, every lie, every deceptive plan. We stand in the truth. You are welcome, Spirit of Truth. We pray you into the marketplace where the answers are needed, into the highways and byways. Flood the earth, Lord God, with the glory of who you are. Show deception. You're only going to come so far. Your plan is going to be overthrown as it is in the book of Revelation. So shall it be with each one of us. We will overcome. We will conquer. We will be named. Our names are written. We have the seal of the Holy Spirit in our foreheads. We are overcomers. We plead the blood. We speak the blood. We proclaim the blood. We say the blood lives. We stand in the life of the blood. We are blood bought, blood sought, looked after, covered, dipped, dumped, set apart, sure fire, tried and tested. We belong to him. We are his. If anyone be born again, behold, that one is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and all things have become new. Resurrection power, glory, King Jesus, worthy, righteous one, justice, vindicator. Ooh, thank you, Abba. Your word is true, tested, tried. Proven. Your word is life. We give you praise. Fill us today. Heal us today. Increase us today. Enlarge us today. God, clear our ears out. Clear our vision. Our souls being renewed and revived. Our bodies repaired. Relationships on the mend. Teach us what our part is. Instruct us in the way we should go. So we never depart from it, God. May we hear you clearly leaning in today. Thank you, God, for hearing us. Thank you for hearing the cries of everyone in this earth. You always hear us. You said your eyes search to and from the whole earth, the whole creation, to find that heart, to find that one. Yes, God and your ears hear, and you bend down, and you ride on the, the angels, and on the wind, and heaven bows, and oh, Jesus, teach us your word. 
show us, like just as you open Elisha's servant's eyes that they could see, open our eyes, increase in dreams and visions, double recompenses for things we walk through, sevenfold returns for what has been taken away, hundredfold stature walks in your word, one with you, friendship with you, God. Thank you, Jesus. In all the earth, we say yes to your plan, to heaven. In all of it, God, we say yes. Have your way. Each one of us, protect us, provide for us. Show us your goodness. Reveal to us your purposes and plans. Blueprints of heaven in our soul, in our understanding, the mind being renewed, right vision, upright spirit. Let him who stole steal no more. Let no corrupt conversation, language come out of our mouths. Teach us how to speak edification, encouragement, wisdom forgive us forgive each one of us for any even unrecognized things forgive us heal us tear down pride show us how to work with your spirit how to walk in the spirit to subdue and arrest the works the works of flesh make us one with you in this earth i pray god i pray that unity that agreement. You said there's power in agreement. There's multiplication in agreement. There's increase in agreement. There's prosperity and advancement in agreement. If two of you agree on touching anything, show us what agreement means, God. We worship you. Thank you for healing us, for hearing us, for your healing balm upon your people in this earth, for open windows, for miracles, for answers, for subduing our enemies. We pray for our enemies. We pray for them right now, God. We say, have your way in all the earth. Praise your name, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for settling our prayers in earth, here, heaven's heart, here in earth, in all the earth, things we don't even know about. We say yes to you, God, to your plans, God. Thank you, Jesus. We want your leading, we want your teaching, we want your deliverance, we want your recovery. We want what it is you have for us more than what we think we want for ourselves. Justify us, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Settle it in all the earth as it is in heaven as it is in heaven this day we thank you for the day and we give you the day footsteps heartbeat plans agendas responsibilities increase stillness protection advancement growth yes god wisdom discernment discerning of spirits, accuracy of word interpretation, correct doctrine, right relationships, restoration of things built, of things to come, even yet through generations, through generational blessings and inheritance, cutting off the roots of anything cursed, of any curses, of any trail of a curse, and stepping completely into the promised land, 
of blessings, of benefits. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Wrap your protection around us as we go. Yes, hedge us in, in authority, in protection. Hallelujah. Watch over us in all that is us. Go before us, way ahead of us. Lord, we give you that access, that place to make the decisions and give us a yes, Lord. Give us a, a soldier stand that we receive our orders, that we may please you and trust you. Thank you, Jesus. On assignments, God. Thank you, God. Protect us from behind and the sides. We love you. We worship you, God. We receive your kingdom, your blood covenant. We receive the healing by your wounds and stripes. We receive, yes, God, no shame, no guilt, no separation. Sanctified unto you, the outcast, feeling your love, coming to the place with you in agreement to what you have. earth, God. For me right now, I stand, God, giving you access and permission. Slow me down to hear you clearer, to stop for the neighbor, to wave to the child, to pick up what's on the ground. I love what you're doing, God. I love your ways. Increase that for me, God. I pray for myself today, Father that you increase what you started and that I pay attention to every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week, month, and year while you have me here that the sensitivity would be so sharp and in tune and increased in such a way that I miss absolutely nothing you said if we delight in you, you will give us the desires of our heart because our desires are your desires. My desire is to walk so close to you every minute of every day that I miss absolutely nothing. Nothing. Not even a breath of you in my direction. Oh, I give you praise, worshiping and honoring you today. And I pray this for my friends and for those that you cause to hear it in our families, our bloodline. We pray for them, the word of truth into every bit of their being, walks and their lifestyles and everything that we pray. Your, your word as provision, as daily bread to our bloodline. Even if you tarry for those to come, we call forth the blessed ones and the blessings in unborn ones. Yes, God, I say yes. <laughs> I say yes to grandchildren, Father. Grandchildren that will be blessed and trained up in you, hearing you, discerning you, revelation, truth abhorring evil and clinging to good. Yes, God, I say yes. Yield the increase up. You are worthy. And for our blood family too in, the, in Christ, may your mighty hand be upon each and every one. Yes, Jesus, whether we agree with them or not, our brothers and sisters, keepers, your hand on us your hand on them, God, even if they're slip sliding away, your hand on them, if they're all over the place, your hand on them, God, we pray your hand be upon every born again believer in this earth, in this land, angels come to those that are to inherit, you are the messengers of heaven sent to those who are inheritors, oh, we hear it, yes, we hear it, we hear the call, we hear it, Lord. Hallelujah. 
no deception, no fear tactics, no lies, no ambushes, no suddenlies, no preconceived ideas or agendas, no lies, no deception, nothing coming nigh the dwelling place. Not even near in Jesus' name, not even near. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you for hearing us today. You always hear us. Thank you for settling matters while we sleep and even here while we're praying. Sending labors, sending your word, working it out, using us, using even the, the feeblest of body parts, God, you said, even the feeble one, to give more honor to that pinky or that toe. Be restored to the body. Be restored. Thank you, God. Hallelujah for restoration to the bride, renewal to the body. Yes, we welcome you, head. Our head is you, Christ. The mind, protect us from all evil. Advance us in the directions. Yes, Jesus. North, south, east, and west. Everything in the earth. Everything that has a breath. All that is, all that is to be yet to come present and future unto you, King of Kings. We give you honor today. Yes, God, send your word, your angels. We love you. We love you, God. Highways and byways, ocean shores, mountains, valleys, atmosphere, fields, woods, deserts and streams. and glory. Caves and caverns. Into the air. Blanket is in. Subdue our enemies as we pray the forgiveness on them. Thank you, God. Arrest the thoughts that are not of you. Make a plan right there. Before all that is before us, your plan set in place. Cover us. I just got to stay here a minute. The Holy Spirit is just settling some things in these prayers. Agreement with heaven is happening right now. 
appear where we're seated. He said, seated in heavenly places. We're in the earth, but we're not of it. He's doing a work right here where we're at. Day after day. Your prayers matter. God does not see as man sees. He will not allow us to be tempted above that which we are able to handle. But with the temptation, He will bring a way of escape. He never allows anyone to be able to be tempted. He didn't allow Job to, to, or Satan to take Job's life. He didn't. <laughs> oh, remember that. <laughs> oh, remember that. Think on these things. Whatsoever things are true, have a good report. Settled. Satan was not able to take the man of God's life. Satan was not able. He's been cut off from that kind of power. Behold, Satan fell as lightning. <clears throat> we are the children of God. And of children then heirs. And of heirs then joint heirs to Christ. We have overcome. We will survive. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you for your visitation. Thank you for your word being revealed, your plan in the earth. Thank you for instruction. Thank you for the seal of your holiness. Thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for going before us. Thank you for settling matters. Thank you for making our enemies be our footstool. Thank you for causing goodness and mercy to overtake us. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. We give you the praise. We honor you. All glory be to you, God. Everything we do, may it be to bring you recognition. No reputation keepers. We honor you with our lives. Laid down before you, God, that even as we build ourselves up in building your kingdom up, God, that you yourself will be named among us. Yes. Name above all names. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We love you and honor you, God, in this earth today. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Do. Even our animals, God. Our special friends. Yes, God. Look upon them today. Our special friends. Thank you, God. Thank you for friendship with the animals. Oh, how comforting it is. <laughs> Your mighty hand, God. You make all things new. In Jesus' name, amen. I have to tell you, <laughs> I was having a hard time closing today. I felt, yeah, we honor you, Jesus. We love and honor you within the earth today. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you for friendship with the animals. Your mighty hand, Lord God, you make all things new. Oh, it's hard for me to come out of this today it's just a I mean it's always beautiful it's a little bit of a, a thicker atmosphere with me today personally some things and some decisions with the people around me and different stuff going on been giving it over to God like we all do but today I felt him his presence just inviting me to submit in that place of Whatever he has, whatever it is, my hands will remain off of it. My heart will understand. My affections will be to him. So, all right. Glory to God. I'm still there. I'm <laughs> they say, where are you at? Cloud nine? No. I'm seated in heavenly places right now. <laughs> Christ. All right. Love you guys. Love you. Ladies, be blessed. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.